Hey guys, I'm Michael Katz, the CEO of TraderPool. We are an online prop firm that funds stock traders. And today we are going to talk about the absolutely notorious topic in trading called risk management. So just before we'll dive into the charts and look at some trades and see how do you apply the right and appropriate risk management to your trading, let's look at an overview of what is actually risk management and what it means. So risk management is everything involved around your business. When you're trading, you're basically developing and um, building your own business, right? So you need to understand how much you invest in, in that trading business, either um, by you know, buying supply like computers and screens and internet and all of those things, you know, courses or whatever it is that you're going to pay for. And you also have the capital that you invest in order to trade. Now, both ways, you need to understand that those things involve risk, right? If you're buying computer, you're buying the screens, four screens, whatever it is that you wanna do, and you're not gonna get any return from the market, then obviously you are risking that money. And of course, when you open an account, let's say with $10,000 or 50 or $100,000, since we're trading or investing, obviously, it involves risk and that means that maybe you're not gonna make it and you're going to lose some of that uh, capital so just before you dive in and click the mouse key to make money from trading you need to understand that you're risking money even before you actually started to click the mouse key and in order to do the right thing just remember to talk to yourself before that or with the wife or your husband and understand how much from the capital that you're investing you are willing not to see um, basically return to you, right? So let's say you opened an account with $50,000 and you're trading, it's not going well, unfortunately, and you lost 20%, 30%, 40%. When is the time that you actually decide, you know what, maybe it's not for me, I'm closing the account, taking uh, my money back and go to somewhere else? You gotta understand that before you click in the mouse key for the first trade, because as soon as you will have the mentality, the right mentality for trading and investing, it will be much easier to uh, cope with when the losses will come. And the losses will be there because this is what we do. We trade, we make money, we lose money. And in the end, you wanna just make more money than what you lost. But basically, you're going to lose money. This is part of the game. So if you come, uh, if you do the right preparation and you come with the right attitude to the market, it will be much easier to handle it. So that's the first thing, like an overview of risk management. Of course, like anybody else, you probably want to see some trades and understand how do you apply them? How do you risk? How much you're going to risk per trade or per day or per week, depends on what you're doing and how to manage the trade. We'll talk about that right now in the charts, so let's dive in. Okay guys, so now that we have a general understanding of what is risk management, let's dive into the charts and understand how you can apply them to a day-to-day, -day, basically. Of course, the way that I'm about to show you, it's the way that I've been trading for the last 15 years, of course, with some adjustment that I did along the way, and the way that our prop firm, Trade a Pool, also uh, runs and manages the risk on our side and of course our traders as well so there is there isn't really right or wrong when it comes to trading it's super individual you will find your way as you continue i will give you some tools that you can take and apply them starting from now so we're looking at the charts but before maybe just before that so when it comes to really applying risk management to your trading you need to do a few things first we understood how much money are we willing to lose or risk in this uh, game of trading or let's call it as i said a business so we're investing in a business uh, we want to invest in a business we know how much capital we're bringing from home to it we know how much we are willing to lose in case it won't work and basically we want to uh, you know zoom in a little bit to that specific trade that we are about to execute so first let's uh, separate the two you have of course or the three we you have of course day trading you have swing trading and long investment right long investment is of course for 
a year or even uh, more than that. Swing trading is between a few weeks to a few months and uh, day trading the same day you enter, you close the position. Okay, so before we dive into the charts, let's understand uh, the concept again of risk management when it comes to you know, zooming in for the trades. So first of all, we have three types of way of trading, right? We have day trading, we have swing trading and long-term investment. So long-term investment, we're talking about, of course, uh, 12 months and above, swing trading between few, a few weeks to a few months and day trading, entering and exiting at the same day. Each one of them will have a slightly different adjustment, but the approach or the idea or the concept of uh, the risk management way it will apply for all of them. So let's talk about first uh, day trading and let's bring maybe a whiteboard first and then we'll go into other stuff. So when we're talking about day trading and sorry for my uh, sorry for my painting or drawing. So day trading, what we do in our prop firm is basically risking X amount of money out of the uh, account or in our case it's basically a huge pool that all of our traders uh, trade on uh, and with so basically we have an, an allocate, allocated uh, daily loss okay so let's say uh, in your case you opened an account with fifty thousand dollars out of that you want to take x amount of money per day that you are willing to lose and what will make sense obviously it depends only on you it's super individual so one will feel okay of risking two thousand dollars per day one will feel okay of risking a hundred uh, hundred dollar a day so it really depends on you like the maybe the default way will go with uh, three percent out of the account per the whole day so we're talking about let's go with it three percent is basically fifteen hundred right one five zero zero so that's what we're risking per day. Now, like I said, maybe it's too high for you. You're just at the beginning of your uh, trading career and it's fine. You don't really need to risk that much. You can easily risk 1% or even less than that. It really depends on your uh, risk tolerance and uh, reward, reward appetite. So basically, let's go with this uh, example. We're risking per day okay so it's a daily loss dl daily loss fifteen hundred dollars in this matter what we want to do is start risking from that allocated risk per trade so if i want to get into a position what i'll do is use x percentage of that fifteen hundred and that will be the risk tolerance for the specific trade if I'm uh, looking at a, an amazing setup, everything perfectly aligned, you have the, the market with you, uh, your indicators show that the, the stock should go higher, um, the price action show that, the tape show that, whatever it is that you're using, whatever tool that you have in your arsenal in order to decide to go into a trade or not, let's say everything looked perfect, 10 out of 10. So in this matter, what we call it a, um, a plus setup. So let's say for an A plus setup, I will risk 30% of my daily loss, 30%. So in this case, we're talking about $450 per that a specific trade of an A plus, right? I traded it, whatever, uh, winner or loser, and the second setup that I found is only an A plus. Uh, sorry, an A without the plus. So in this matter, I will try to uh, risk roughly 20% out of the daily loss. Now, you need to remember that you already um, lost, let's say, 450 on the first day trade because it didn't work. So now your daily loss is lower than that, almost a thousand. So 20% out of a thousand, it's $200 instead of risking $300 if it was the full 1500. So this is the way you go with it and you can go down to uh, B plus and basically risk on a B plus 
uh, what we call a uh, feeler, right? Because you want to feel it, you want to understand and see if you're correct on that trade, you're not really sure, not everything worked perfectly, all the parameter, parameters that you're looking at, so those kind of stuff. So this is the way you basically take that daily loss and uh, cut it into different chunks. And as soon as you have obviously uh, more A plus setups, you can risk more on that. And we will get to that in a second and see how you actually manage the trade as well and not go in all in. So a 30% is basically all in uh, in the A plus setup, but you, you will see some of my trades in a second and you will see that I'm never entering the full position like right away. I always add and scale into my position because I don't want to risk, you know, don't want to get in, have my stop loss and that's it. The ability for us, and that's probably the most important thing in trading, it doesn't matter if you're trading right now, listening to this and trading for your first day or five years or 10 years, by far the most important element that you will find in trading, the technical part at least, is by managing the trade. So if you know how to manage the trade properly, correctly, your chances to become a profitable trader or in our case a funded trader is by uh, far much higher than all of the traders around you, 100%. All involved it's all comes down it all comes down to the trade management and that's super important to understand that so now when it comes to swing trading it's pretty much the same but we are uh, doing a, a bit of adjustment to the daily loss instead of using daily loss you using a weekly loss right weekly loss WL so Instead of risking 1500 um, on 1500 on one day, you can risk roughly five up to seven percent, and that will be your let's say five percent. That will be your weekly loss. From here, you can basically cut it, and if you have an A setup, an A plus setup, take take 30 percent. You have a B plus take 10%, etc., etc., et cetera. And of course the same for applies uh, when it comes to larger investment or a long time investment, the same way you basically take out of your account X amount of money that you're willing to lose per um, a quarter or per half of a month, of half of a year, and basically risk that and um, uh, spread that around the trades that you're taking. Now, like I said, the thing about day trading or swing trading and generally when it comes to risk management in that way is first understanding how much you're willing to risk per daily loss or per weekly loss. Uh, one of the tricks that you can use is multiply the daily loss by three. And let's say you had a three days strike that, you know, not every day you will make money, obviously. And let's say you lost 4,500 out of your account, right? 4,500. So in this case, you ask yourself, if I have three days, uh, three losing days with a $4,500 loss, what exactly uh, would be my reaction? Mentally, would it be okay for me to, to continue to trade? Would I be able to continue to trade uh, properly with a um, clean set of mind or it's going to affect me very much so that I will get into uh, revenge trading and basically a snowball of starting to lose my account. So in this case, you really want to adjust that, that tolerance, that risk to what you feel comfortable with. And that's super fine. Even if you have a $50,000 account, that's super fine that you will risk, you know, like 500 or $300 a daily loss, super fine. Basically, you can remember that you can always um, increase your risk when the time be and when you feel okay with it and uh, you see some progress, but you cannot, you know, get back your money after you blew your account, most cases. So 
uh, if we're talking about increasing, just like a tiny note, if we're talking about increasing, give yourself two weeks, three weeks that you uh, see a progress, a real progress, um, more profits coming in, you understand more how to manage the risk, how to manage the trade, and then increase it. So let's say if you're risking a daily loss of 1500 and you have a good run for um, almost a month, and you, you see that you're making progress. When you're making progress, you feel it, you understand it, you see it on the charts, you see it on the way you react, the, the mentality shifts. So when you do so, you can feel okay by increasing it by 10%, 15% every month or so, depends on uh, your progress or your achievement, basically. So that's uh, a tiny bit about trading and in general, like risk management. Let's look at some charts and go a little bit deeper to the uh, trade management. As soon as we'll do that, you will understand a bit more about the risk management aspect. And of course, where do I take my partials? How does it actually work? We still have a lot that we can learn from, a lot, a lot of stuff that I can uh, share with you, like Excel sheets that explain in depth how you handle your full month, like a trading plan for the risk management part. I'm not sure we have enough time for this video, but if you like to get more, feel free to contact me, ask for that, and I will uh, definitely put it out there. So let's go to the charts. Okay, so now that we have a deeper understanding, uh, let's look at some charts and some trades that I made. Um, to understand first the way I apply the risk management part that we just uh, talked about and also maybe some trade management where again time, we don't have a lot of time in this uh, video but like I said if you want to learn more feel free to drop me an email on discord or whatever it is and I'll be happy to do uh, more of those content. So let's say uh, BABA I'm looking at right now, um, that's the trade I made. You can see the sell and the buy, basically a short, obviously. And the important, uh, important element that I want to um, um, emphasize here is that look at how many sales did I have before I started to cover. So like I said before, I'm not entering, even if it's a A plus setup with a 30% loss of my daily loss, I'm not actually going all in with one click. I'm scaling into the position. So I'm entering one here, adding more when it, in this case, wasn't the, the right um, moment to add, added more. And then when it bounced up, added more, drop again, added more, and then started to cover as it went uh, to my favor. So a few things that we can learn from here, one, Technical one, I didn't add in the right place. That wasn't a great place to add, but those were perfectly, uh, worked perfectly. And what I'm doing basically, I'm taking the 30% out of the daily loss and cut it also into small pieces. When you're scaling into a position, this is exactly what you wanna do. You wanna give yourself the chance to manage the trade, because. Let's say if I entered here with the first, uh, the first entry, let's say I took the whole 30% and my stop loss was right above it. So when it, in some cases, would have bounced up, take my stop loss, you probably experienced that at least once in your trading, uh, would have take my stop loss and then drop, right? But in this case, let's say I entered, I have 30%, but I want all re, only entered with 10%, right? So it bounced against me. I added more than another 10% basically out of the daily loss. And then I have even uh, 10 more to add to that. So let's look at one. Okay, this is a classic example for that. I entered here, I bought it here. Um, it went down, I added more, went up. I added more, added more until I sold the full position. So basically, let's say if you entered here and your stop loss was right below it, it would have taken your stop loss. In this case, even if it's an A plus setup, I'm not going all in, I'm just taking a chunk. So let's say 10%, 15% out of the 30%. That way I give myself enough space to play around with. So 
Uh, this is also like a classic one. So you can see I entered around the area here, even one more when it broke the low. And then when it dropped, I started to cover. So I never get out in or out just by one click. I always scale in and scale out to the position. Um, yeah, you can see it here. In this case, I entered. Oh, this is a great example of what will happen if, let's say, I entered and it ran away. Uh, worked perfectly. So this is exactly what happened here. I entered here only with 10% out of the 30%. And basically, it just worked perfectly. But I couldn't really do much around these levels. As you can see, there are some resistance levels around here. So I couldn't take some partials off because it didn't make sense. It was only 10%. But then when it um, ran pretty nicely, I took some off, added more, took some off, added more, and took some off. So I played with the position in order to fit to my uh, way of trading basically in case in um, or the opposite way will be entering with full amount now it could work and go right to my uh, target but in most cases it will play around try to take some liquidity off and only then uh, work this is also a great place a great um, trade to look to understand from entering uh, a short position bouncing up entering again played a lot more as you can see and only uh, at, in the end I'll co I covered it this one as well I'm adding to my position buying into my position basically closing some of it holding the rest till the end of the day not every time but um, I definitely want to see myself adding and keeping like 10% 15% till the rest of the day depends on the um, the volatility depends on um, the depends on the volatility and depends of course if the stock can actually do it if it's got enough space to go higher depends on the um, resistance level the historical resistance level etc uh, here I'm adding to my position to my short position on Tesla I'm covering some here adding more and then covering with a loss right here as soon as it reached um, a pivot point basically i started to add and go in again to my short position a bit more aggressive and covered as you can see along the way so basically the way you want to do it is by scaling in as much as a uh, little at first so let's say even if you have 30 percent right out of 100 dollar daily loss so $30, risk $3 at the beginning, $5, $10, and then add to that as it goes to your favor. This is also a classic one on Tesla. Look where I entered on that pullback. It didn't work. Drop again, I added more. Drop again, I added more. And then it made the right move for me. Now, if I would, if I would have entered here with 30%, that would be my stop loss and that's it. I'm down for, the, for that trade. But since I only entered with a small amount of uh, uh, percentage, I can add more to my position as it goes to the support levels and add even more again when it's when actually entering the support, the major support level, the tail that you have here from the beginning of the day. And that was the moment when it bounced up and I could have uh, basically started taking more partials. So. When it comes to managing the trade, like I said, that's the most important part. As soon as you understand that, that will give you the edge uh, you're looking for when it comes to trading. So if I sum up everything first, make sure you know how much you're risking. Generally, when it comes to the business of trading, are you willing to lose X amount of money of your account? You gotta, because that's trading but what is that x amount that you feel comfortable with and then dive in understand if you day trading uh, have a daily loss and take a chunk for the right setup and from that right setup take another chunk and scale into your position same do the same for swing trading and also for long-term investment hopefully this video uh, will help you and push you uh, furthermore like I said, we are an online platform for retail trader. Basically, we fund stock traders. So if you 
are a stock trader or you you want to be one definitely check us out you will go through an evaluation phase and if you pass that you will get uh, funded you become a funded trader and trade our capital for me it's a no-brainer you don't need to risk your own money not printing fifty thousand dollars from home the evaluation phase cost as little as $300 so you get in you risk that $300 if you pass the evaluation you can literally trade with 80 160 260 thousand dollars uh, for day trade and for swing a little less obviously but also much higher than what you can expect or uh, have when it comes to printing money from home the risk wise the leverage that we offer in and of course the control um, the default mechanism of risk basically that allows you to work uh, accordingly and properly and not blowing your account basically so that's it for me take care guys if you have any questions i'm available to you bye bye